So let's say you have web email like Gmail or Yahoo. Let's say you're just going to log in and your password doesn't work. So you try it again, it still doesn't work. You know you're typing it correctly and you can't figure out what went on. And then you find out that your email was hacked or you find out that the email service decided that your account was problematic for some reason. All of a sudden you don't have all your emails. I don't want that to happen to you. I'm going to show you how to keep it from happening to you. Well, I'm going to show you how to deal with the aftermath if it does happen to you. So Matt Honan's experience with getting his iCloud account hacked and then subsequently Amazon and Gmail kind of got me a little concerned about this. Fortunately, I already had this in place, but I have added two-factor authentication. I would recommend anyone to do that as well, just to have one more level of security for a uh, an email account is especially important because that's where you get forgotten passwords sent to and it's anyway it's highly recommended to add some security to your account so mail store it's a little odd that they have broken images here kind of unfortunate I don't know if we need to send them donations to make sure that they're offering continue to offer this free service but it's a way to download all the emails off of your account on your hard drive and I have it set up to run weekly and I'll show you how to do that so that you can do it as well. So Mail Store Home is the program. Here's the start page that you see. It shows you how many messages. I actually have a currently running backup going. One thing to note, I hadn't realized when I added two-factor authentication this was no longer working. It was still running every week, but it was no longer able to log in. So when I was creating the screencast, I went and checked, and sure enough, the test failed. So I created a an application account through Google. You'll know more about that once you set up two-factor authentication, but just something to be reminded of. It's probably a good idea to check your backups every once in a while. Just make sure that they're successfully backing up. One thing it's pretty easy to do is to simply, in this case, think of an email that you sent recently and then go look for it here. And if it's there, then your backups are working. If not, fix it. So I'm going to hide this away and show you how you can add your own account. So there's any number of different email clients here you can add in. So let's say we're bob at gmail.com. Then you start it. And when you enter in the password, it's going to ask you for some other things, one of them being setting your IMAP server settings, and that can be done pretty simply through the Gmail web interface and the settings there. You can also manually set your different settings if you happen to know them, if it's a local server or something. And so once you do that, it'll be added down here, and then you can see this run, and that's kind of the simplest process, is you just add your account and run it. But of course you don't want to be relying on your memory for backups. You want to automate it and have it be running whenever you, even if you don't think of it or remember it. So you can create a shortcut on the desktop. And then if we look in the desktop, we see it here and then right click on it with properties and move it up here. You can see the command that they're running. And I should note that I am using the portable version of Mail Store Home. I prefer to have everything portable just so it's available on any computer that I'm at through Dropbox, but that's for another screencast. So this is the command that it's running, and if you just copy that, right? oh, don't pay attention to that. That was my ultra secure password. I think it actually was my password. Yikes. So you just take the command there and then open up task scheduler so you can do that just hitting the windows key and typing task it'll bring up the windows task scheduler this is a way to run jobs at various times and this one here i've called backup email so you're going to go create basic task or create task they take you to the same place just giving you a few more options in the create task so what i do now is set a trigger so the trigger that I have for this one is a weekly backup at 4.30. So it's every Saturday at 4.30 a.m. It can take a little bit of time. You can see this one's still chugging away. It, since it had been failing previously, it's getting a lot more than it would normally. 
I'm not emailing that much. But you can set the time to run and the action. That's the important part. All right. So you edit it. This is where you can change. You can actually have multiple triggers. You could do it daily. In fact, that may not be a bad idea just to run it daily. Yeah, I'll leave it weekly for now. So your actions is to start a program. So there aren't too many options. You can send an email, display a message, or start a program. You're always going to want to start a program unless you want to send out emails to someone. And then you're just going to paste it. Oh, there's my password again. Golly. Oh, you didn't get the command. Slide it up. So we paste that in. And now this is the command that's going to run. And you can see that this is the same command that I have here. Very same command. See, portable C archive ID one. So that's how you know what. Now, I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing the ID is just referring to what row it is. So if you had three or four different emails, ID one, ID two, ID three, and I don't know if you can specify a few different ones on a single command, or you could just run them in sequence afterward. But I just have one email address that I'm really concerned about backing up my primary one. And then you really don't have to worry about the rest of these. These are just the defaults that I left it at. So what this will do is run once a week at 4.30 a.m. this mail store program. And the one negative of having it done this way is that on Sunday morning, or no, Saturday morning, after this is run, I see the mail store uh, window open. It's actually not that big of a negative because at least it lets me know that it ran. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't checking the, the status of that run, and I would have noticed if I just spread this out here that it was failed, and I could have fixed it. So it did run last Saturday at 430 but it failed, so that's kind of useless. So again, just a reminder to make sure to check that and make sure it ran. And once you have that, you'll have all your email and you can search through your emails. The search is actually quite extensive and it works for any number of email services. You're not reliant on whatever that particular service gives you for searching. And it's a kind of a set it and forget it kind of thing, which is exactly what you want for backups. So. Just as a reminder, Google two-factor authentication, I highly recommend it, as well as starting to back up your Google account. Till next time, this is Dan.